Hi, and welcome to this Android video series presentation on services. We're going to talk about three types of services. Normal services and bound services are essentially the same thing. Uh, they are derived from the same class, service. And then we'll also talk about intent services and how they work as well. So what is a service, essentially? A service is a component of an application that performs a specific task, or it can share methods of itself with the rest of the application. A service is essentially like an activity, but there is no user interface. It is started using an intent, and they have their own life cycle. So services have methods like onCreate and onDestroy, just like activities do. But they also have some specific other methods that we'll talk about here in just a moment. By default, however, an Android service runs on the main UI thread. So a service or a bound service runs on the main UI thread. Now an intent service actually runs on a separate thread, but if you're going to use a service or a bound service, not an intent service, and you need to run on a uh, on a separate thread, then you need to set that up yourself. Long-running services should start a separate thread and run in them, or you can have things like UI blocking, which is bad, or ANRs, like which are application not responding errors which kill your running app which is very bad so don't fall into the trap of thinking that a service starts a thread by default it does not service lifecycle like I talked about here has an on create and an on start method on create is run when the service is first started using start service uh, on start is run immediately after on create and at that point the service is running when the service is stopped on destroy is called there is also a method called on bind and I apologize that should be a lowercase o in on bind but on bind uh, is a special method if we're going to bind to the service from some other application component however in a service or a bound service, we must override on bind. The difference is, in a bound service, we return the binder, but in a regular service, we, we return uh, null. There is a manifest entry for services, as you might expect, and the minimal entry is the service entity, service tag, with the Android name attribute set to the name of the class with a dot in front of it, or a period. This is the same as setting up uh, a uh, activity manifest entry, as you might recall. Uh, but we use the service tag instead of the activity tag. We can also use Android process to specify a process in which the service should run. Uh, if the Android process attribute name begins with a colon, then the process is within our application. It's private to the application that we're in. But we can also start it with just a lowercase letter. If that's the case, we're specifying a process that, that can be global. It might be in another app. And this uh, tells uh, the application that we specify or the process that we specify that this service is runnable. If the other application has the proper permissions and intents, it'll be runnable. So that's a service. Now let's talk about an intent service. A subclass of service that runs in its own thread. Okay. Well, the, the service class has a subclass called intent service. And an intent service, unlike a bound service or just a regular service, does run in a separate thread than the main UI thread. And so we can set up an intent service, and they're very easy to set up. Uh, this intent service is going to process intents, it's going to handle intents until it runs out of intents to process. After which time it will destroy itself. So an intent service is kind of like a self-running service. It, it, it runs on a separate thread. When it's done processing intents, it's done. And it destroys itself. What else could you want? It's beautiful. Uh, we don't have to explicitly stop 
and intense service. Now, with a service or a bound service, we must stop it. Otherwise, that pointer that bound the service or started the service is just going to keep on running, and that's a leak. That's a memory leak. So how does an intent service grab these intents? Well, there's a method, a lifecycle method of an intent service that gets each intent for each request, and it is called on-handle intent. When it runs out of intents, the service is destroyed, and on-destroy is called. The third type of service is bound service. Now, we subclass the same class to get a service or a bound service. Remember that on bind method? In a service, we return null. Well, in a bound service, we return something called an I binder. And this is usually just a wrapper that extends the binder class that calls get service on itself and returns this bound service. Once you have a binder, you can have methods in the bound service that aren't connected to anything but themselves, and then client processes can call those methods as long as they're public. From the, from the client, we call the bind service method. In the service, we use the on bind lifecycle method. So the client process must declare a service connection that calls on service connected and on service disconnected to check and see if that bound service is bound. And if it's bound, then we can call the public methods in, within the service. But if it's not bound, we don't want to even try to call those methods because we'll get a runtime error. So usually, we keep a Boolean property uh, that declares whether the service is bound or not bound at a specific point of time. So to kind of summarize a bound service, in the client process, we create a normal intent. You know, the class we're coming from, which is usually dot this, and the class we're going to, which is something dot class. And then we call bind service on the intent rather than start service. At some point later, we must call unbind service through the service connection object. And this is usually happens in on pause or on stop. <clears throat> then, once we have a bound service, and if it's bound, we can call the public methods of the bound service from the client object. Now, a bound service is kind of cool because it can sit out there and anything we want to, activities or other services, can bind to that service. The service will provide only one binder, but any activity we want to bind to that service and use those methods may do so. So bound services are the same class of services. They're just called with the bind service method from the activity instead of the start service method. But we set up the intents as usual. We can put extras to bound services or start services. Uh, bound services, though, the extras usually are performed setup and that's really all they do. To stop a bound service, <clears throat> we make a call to stop service, and this happens through that service connection object. So the service connection object really just manages that bound service. All right, so there's three demos, one for a normal service, one for an intent service, and one for a bound service. You should look at those three demos and see how they work, and then use these in your own code. Thank you.